Hey everyone! If you love those Auntie Anne's pretzels that you get at the mall, you need to try them out at home. So today we are making soft pretzel bites that are a delicious snack or appetizer for a movie night or game day. So continue watching and you can make them too. Who's excited to make some fun and easy pretzels today? Give me a thumbs up. Start out with half a cup of milk and a quarter cup of water. Microwave that for 30 to 40 seconds until it reaches 100 to 110 degrees. Give it a check with your thermometer because any higher than that is a big no for our dough. Mix in one tablespoon of brown sugar and half a packet of yeast in there. And cover the top with plastic wrap to let this activate for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes later, look and see how bubbly this is. Pour that into your mixing bowl with one cup of bread flour, one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, and one and a half tablespoons of melted butter. Mix it all together with your hook attachment to form a ball of dough. Depending on the humidity where you live, like me in New York, the dough may be too sticky. Go ahead and add one tablespoon of flour to make it smooth and elastic to touch. Place that dough in an oil-coated bowl, then cover the top with plastic wrap and let it rise for one hour. After waiting, now is the fun part. You're going to divide up your dough and roll each section into a rope. You do not need to flour your board for this. Just make sure to remove the ends and cut the bites into one and a half inch pieces. Guys, if you're hungry already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss out on new recipes from me every week. Place those nuggets on a parchment lined baking sheet and preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Next, bring some water to a boil and add a third of a cup of baking soda. This baking soda is a little crazy, so make sure you are using a deeper pot for this. Drop in 10 to 15 bites at a time and turn them after 30 seconds. Doing this step prior to baking is what actually gives them their shiny crust, so make sure you don't forget. After one minute, remove with a slotted spoon or this spider strainer gadget like I'm using here. Arrange them evenly on your baking sheet and make an egg wash by mixing one egg yolk with one tablespoon of water. Brush on the egg wash and sprinkle with pretzel salt or kosher salt. Pretzel salt makes such a difference in the texture and taste. I link the one I use down below in the description box. However, kosher salt will do as an alternative. That was easy, one, two, three. Pop your pretzel bites in the oven for seven to 10 minutes. You don't want to overdo these, only bake until they appear lightly golden and they are just perfect. Enjoy it with your favorite cheese dip or if you're feeling more adventurous, you could try it with my spinach and artichoke fondue recipe. The link will be provided on screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.